Hello and welcome to the series on Microsoft Power Apps. In this section, we're going to be looking at concatenation function. So in previous videos, we've built up our employee form or employee screen, and you can see we've added the employee name and uh, employee image and employee department and email. So I'm not so happy with the employee name because uh, maybe you've got two employees in your company named Eric and uh, you won't know who, who that employee is. So we've added the fields in SharePoint. So if we go over to SharePoint, you can see we have employee name, employee surname and employee email. So there's a number of ways that we could add the employee name to this, uh, this screen. One would be to go to um, the insert menu, selecting label and adding the label here and setting the label value to, instead of using this item name, we would use this item surname. So that is one way we could do it, but I don't want to do it that way. I want to be using the concatenation function. So if you hop over to the Microsoft documentation, you can see they've got some information on the concatenation. I'll include this uh, link in the video description. I would suggest that you read it. So it just gives you in, um, some information about the concatenate, and it also gives you some information about the concat function. So those are two different functions, and they have two different uses. So if you scroll down to the documentation, uh, you can see the concatenation function. It uses uh, the this, this syntax displayed on the screen here. So concatenate open bracket, the first string you want to use in your concatenation, or the first string you want to join, comma, second string, uh, comma, third string, comma, and fourth string. So you could go on and, and add multiple strings. You can see over here, uh, this is what the output of this uh, value would be. Great, so another way that we could do this, we could do this without a concatenation, so without using the function, and that would be using the ampersand. So let's first go back to our application and try the first option for concatenation to join the two strings of the user's name and the user's surname. So in our application, we select the employee name label and we will remove this item dot name and we will change that to concatenate. And you can see underneath here, you've got two options. You can select the concat or the concatenate. Let's select concatenate, and we will say this item dot name, comma, and comma, and uh, this item surname. And when we look at our application, you can see we've got the name, surname, and this is replicated for all of our employees. If you wanted to add a comma, we could go back to the um, concatenation function. And instead of a space in between here, we could just add a comma, or we could add a dash or underscore or whatever we wanted in here. And let's have a look at that you can see it would put that text that we've added in the comma. I just want to have that separated with a space. So I'll remove that, uh, that content that we added there and let's click back on our application. So another way that we could do this is we could remove the, the text that we've added with the concatenation function. So let's put this item dot name Make sure you select the correct uh, variable, uh, ampersand, and this item dot surname. And I forgot to put in the space here. So uh, quotation marks, space, quotation marks, and another ampersand. You can see over there, over here, this has the same effect as the concatenation function. So maybe this is just a short, shorthand way of doing it for simple functionality like this. You could use the ampersand, but when you want to use uh, additional functionality and man manipulate strings and that sort of thing, maybe look at the documentation of the concat function and concatenation function. So in this video, we edited the uh, user's um, employee name 
and we added a space in between the, the name and the surname and we added a second variable which was the user's surname. So I'm quite happy with that. I think in the next video we'll be looking at a search function. So we'll be adding a search bar at the top here and we will be adding in the video after that a filter function so you can filter on department. And then that will be it for our employee um, screen and then we can move on to the, the uh, detailed screen. So let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next video.